Should, should work now. Um, so yeah, as I was, as I was saying, uh, we're, we're going to try in the, few in the few next months to um, find new workflow to deal with scan data and photogrammetry. Today, a lot of studios, uh, VFX studios, animation, uh, game studios, are starting to look into photogrammetry, and a lot of people are actually uh, scanning out there, going on location, scanning actual materials uh, to create more realistic stuff. But dealing with these materials, once you get the, that raw data uh, out of a scan, is actually very hard, and there is no um, streamlined process to do that. Everybody has its own little source, and uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a very hard process and cumbersome process. So we're going to try in Substance Painter to make it work so that you can easily deal with scan data and, and blend scan together and fix scans and clean scans, and that will be one of a, 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 big, uh, a big step for what we're going to do in the next few months. So uh, we don't have these features yet, but I've been trying to create kind of a proof of concept inside of Substance Painter and how that would work in, in, in a few months from now. So um, first thing I could do is just bring in, uh, bring in a scan. So in here, I have just a plane, and uh, I have this uh, scan rock. You can see here, uh, scan rock surface of all the different channels. I have an albedo, um, a roughness, uh, a normal map. And uh, this actually was provided by uh, real-time uh, RDT, Real Displacement Textures, one of, our, um, one of the people that actually sell stuff on the Substance, uh, Substance Store. Um, so this is a high quality scan, uh, 4K, um, 4K scan. The first thing I want to do to actually see what I'm doing is uh, actually go on my height channel and kind of see what, what I'm actually getting on my height. So if we scan high, we want to actually see what, what it looks like. So the first thing is to actually have displacement so we can, we can actually see what the surface will look like uh, once in-game using parallax or displacement or uh, once you render that, that surface. The next thing you want to do is, if you have a scan like this, you may not want this exact same, uh, this exact same material in your game. You may want to just mix it with different things, with uh, maybe dirt or snow or anything like moss. Um, and if you want to do that, it's actually very, very hard to blend stuff together in a, in a way that, that makes sense and that actually works. So what I'm doing here is bringing in another, another scan. And you could say that it's actually easy just to mask between these two. But actually blending height maps together is, is, is a real pain. And so what I'm able to do here is just by uh, changing the position of my height, these two scans are going to blend together uh, seamlessly and the height will actually uh, change depending on which material is actually on my surface. And uh, I'll be able to change the amount of height I got on this, and all the blending is done automatically. So I can very easily, let's say, have like a rock or pavement, and then have sands coming up in between this pavement, and maybe have another layer on top to have uh, maybe the top surface of the pavement being used up. Uh, it's going to be super easy to, to mix all those all this scanned and non-scanned data uh, all together. So, and you can see here, uh, my, my two scans are actually tileable already, uh, which, is, which is pretty good. I don't have to, to deal with this, because making a scan tileable is very hard. Making a texture tileable is easy. You just uh, go with your stamp tool, and you stamp the, the border of the texture. When you have to do that on all the different channels at the same time, there is no tools that allow you to do that today. So, uh, in this case, I'm going to get a little more dirt. And let's say that my, uh, the scale of my, of, my dirt, of my kind of like dirty ground here uh, is, is already off, and I want something a little smaller. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit here. And as I scale it down, uh, I'm going to start to see seams, obviously, because if I scale it down to something that's not a, a, a power of two, I'm going to have seams everywhere. So what I can do then is uh, use, since Painter works on all the channels at the same time, I can easily uh, add a layer here and uh, go and use my stamp tool and start stamping stuff. So I'm going to choose my source and uh, just uh, stamp the border. And I'm going to be able to remove my uh, seam easily, and the height will, will update depending on what I paint. And I'm going to just be able to just remove all these seams very fast. That would take like a lot, maybe an hour to do if you have to do it on the whole texture in Photoshop. It's, it's a very long process. Uh, but obviously, I don't want to do that manually on my whole texture. It's just, it's just going to take me too much time. So what I can also do is just go in here and say, all right, I want to make it seamless, whatever I do. So I just use a filter that just makes my texture seamless. And I can just tile it as much as I want. I don't care. It's always going to be seamless. Uh, so again, it's just small tools that will allow you to go much, much faster when dealing with these kind of textures. So now we got a pretty good uh, like uneven, uneven surface. Um, what I want to do next 
is uh, add snow on top of it. So I'm going to activate my snow layer here. And that's where we can cre create a hy hybrid material. Both of these two layers are scan data. But on top of that, I want to create snow. And, and to create actually good looking snow on top of this, I have to go through procedural uh, methodology. So I just created a small uh, snow substance that will just uh, add snow onto my, on my texture. So I'm just going to go here, add a little more uh, height to my, to my base stone. I'm going to go somewhere where I have some nice little uh, kind of a cliff-like relief. And um, I'll be able here to just say, all right, I want my snow to pile up on my, on my texture here. And you'll see that if I put all the snow, you can already see that it's not just white on top of my texture. You can see the normal map, the normal map react like I have a snow, a snow cover on top of my surface. I have something that's very rough and rugged here. And as I put my snow on top of it, I get something that's very smooth with only some little um, twigs and, and rocks coming out of the snow. It already looks, looks pretty good. What I can do on top of this is say, all right, I got my snow here. What I want to do is have snow piling up here, because when you have snow coming, up, coming down, usually you have a little bit of snow on top, and then it just piles up on the sides. And um, I can very easily do that here. I can just say, all right, I want my snow to just pile up on the sides. And now I get a snow surface that actually looks real. And it looks like snow has been piling up on these rocks. And uh, if I go back a little bit here, get something like this maybe, a little more contrast. You can see that the height is also updating as the snow piles up uh, on, the, on, the, on the different parts of my texture. What I can also do is, instead of doing this uh, with a fill layer, what I can do is just um, add a little uh, paint layer. I'm just going to put that down. And here, on my paint here, I'm just going to create my, take my brush, and uh, I'm going to start painting snow. And the same thing, the snow will just adapt and kind of pile up on the pile up where I want it to pile up. And you can see the still the top here of the, kind of the rocks. And I can just put snow anywhere I want. I could use the particles to have snow falling off, falling down. I'm not going to use that because it's a little too slow right now. We still need to add some more features to make it uh, workable. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much the work we want to create. We want to have something very simple. We can just drag and drop your materials, may it be scans or, or procedural materials, and apply cool filters to add uh, puddles, snow, moss, anything that you may think of that, you, that will enrich your material and make it look not like just a simple scan, but an actual material that's been uh, thought through. So that's part of what we'll be working on in the next few months. And uh, we'll probably have some, uh, more, more to show in the next, yeah, next few weeks and next few months. Thank you.